I had my hair cut today, so you can't see it, but I wanted to show you my bookshelves. You see them in the background a lot. If you were here and you looked on the shelves, you would find everywhere on these shelves are books about <laughs> climbing mountains. There, look, over here. Oh, I'm not sure if it's going to work. Ah, too much light, too much light. Here you go, look. Joe Simpson climbing mountains. This, I have read all these books apart from this one here. This is Heinrich Harper's The White Spider because everybody in the other books that climbs up mountains in all sorts of extraordinary ways. And I have a lot of books about climbing up mountains. They all say at some point when they were young, they read The White Spider and that's what led them to climb up mountains. And I know from reading these books about climbing up mountains it's not necessarily a good idea to climb up mountains. It could be quite dangerous. Um, another thing I know from the books about mountains is that mountains can have false summits. So people climb, they see a point ahead of them that they think is the top of the mountain, and then they get to it and it's not the top, and there's still more to push on. And some people put their all into reaching the summit, only to find that there's another summit beyond, and and then they fall down and don't make it. And on Friday I have my Viva, and it looks like the top of the mountain that I've been climbing for the last three years, but it can be a false summit. Um, I will be in a room with John Vorhouse and Kiki Mesua and my supervisor and they will be able to ask me anything they want about my research for as long as they want so Viva has no time limit on it but I would expect to be questioned for two to three hours and at the end of that they will decide whether I am eligible to be Dr Joe <laughs> and there are different levels so they might say yeah, that's it. Here's your doctorate. Um, that's fantastically unlikely, you know. That it would actually be the top of the mountain is fantastically unlikely. Quite likely is that they'll say, yep, you have made an original contribution to knowledge. We believe that you've written this thesis, but there's a few mistakes in the thesis and you need to sort them out. And I would be given three months to sort them out, so minor corrections. Um, they might have bigger concerns, give me major corrections, and then I think I get, depending on how major, another six months, another year that I would have to do them in, and obviously I have to do them in my own time, and I'm, I'm not paid to do them. Um, they might say, this is great work, but you haven't made an original contribution to knowledge. You can have a master's instead, if you like. Um, or they might say... This is terrible, never darken our door again, go away and let's not speak of this. Um, so I am looking at Friday like it might be the summit or it might be the false summit and I'm trying to preserve energy for what climb may still lie ahead.